We want the register to be widely known in the industry as the register that people need to be signed up to. Um, it's important that schools understand that and it's important that professionals that want to operate within the industry understand that and for employers as well. I think the register will certainly bring um, more clarity for instructors uh, in regard to their pathway and where they're actually going. Um, so more workforce development, they'll definitely understand the, what they can and can't do, uh, what category they are in the register. The register will help professionalise the industry. Um, it's a place um, where schools can go for assurance that all staff are suitably qualified um, and that they're fit for purpose. Uh, CAPRA should have a huge impact on schools. Um, the primary school premium, which is where primary schools are um, given around eight and a half to nine thousand pounds a year to invest in PE and school sport. But ultimately, if a school wants to use that money to bring in um, people to deliver after-school clubs, lunchtime supervision, uh, general sport and physical activity sessions, they should be using CAPRA as the default decision-making process for who they buy in. It allows individuals to um, look after their own career development. Um, once they join the register, um, they need to do continuous professional development to stay on the register. Um, and it allows them to progress their careers in a way that they want to, so they can specialise in certain things. There will be CPD available so they can do that. I believe the register will make a difference mainly around the quality. Um, certainly improve the quality of care and provision provided out there um, by a wide range of instructors and actually really make sure that people believe this is a career for them. So a children's activity professional is a career. You don't just have to be a teacher to work with children, you can actually be a professional. I think what, what the register looks to do is clarify the muddy waters between what actually is a children's activity professional um, and what should they look like and what should they qualification and CPD should they have. And just hopefully clarify what a children's activity professional is. Public should know that it, it, it's, it's driven by a government agenda around professionalising uh, people in a, in, a, in, a, in a sector, but it's also about businesses, employers out there who want to ensure that their staff are the highest quality. Um, we, we got involved because we've been championed for a long time that there needed to be something like this um, for our staff. I think it's really important, certainly for our franchisees, because it gives them a a differentiator when they're going into schools that they belong to a register which is ensuring the standards that they're working to and ensuring that they're competent to be able to carry out the delivery within schools. I think for staff as well it gives them a clear framework that they need to be working to and that they can progress through that as well. Um, ultimately I think any register and license to practice makes an immediate difference not only because it uh, defines what quality looks like but it also gives a framework for people that work in the environment to make sure they are the best they can possibly be. They should sign up because it's, it's a license for them within their own domain. So if you're working in schools or working in a community environment that is predominantly not an NGB system, then it's the right way to go. So if you're actually a professional who works with children, you should be on the register. I believe the public should be, uh, should be well aware of the register to make sure that they're making the right choices. Um, whether it's care or whether it's activity that the children's activity profession is providing, parents really need to know that there's a stamp that they can go to and a kite mark they can recognise to say this person is professional and they're competent in their role. Um, ultimately, we believe that it will help uh, inspire and motivate the next generation of people that want to work in this environment and will make sure they've got a clear pathway to getting a valuable career working in the children's activity landscape.